All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Isn't God good? Isn't the Lord awesome? Isn't Jesus wonderful? So this morning, I've been getting a really powerful spiritual download. I don't know if this is coming from the Holy Spirit or where, but it's just really, really good. And I want to communicate it um, to y'all today. The message is this, is don't let the devil corrupt what is good. This is, is really evident going on right now with many things. The devil is trying to corrupt things that are good. Um, there are people in our lives right now that may have really good intentions, but the devil can easily jump in there and corrupt the message. Um, and this happens a lot with all of us. Um, have you ever had a situation where you're talking with a person and you, ha you guys have a really good communication, a really good conversation, and then later on you start thinking about that person and what they said, and you start questioning, well, maybe they had malintents. Maybe they, they really meant this. And unless that discernment comes from God, where you have legitimate... Uh, pieces to put together to make these these doubts about what they really meant then some of that could be or all of it could be just bullshit um, the devil loves to play with people he loves to get in between people who may have a really good relationship and break them apart um, he loves to come in and corrupt things that are good um, how many beautiful things out there that uh, our ancestors have created that were just beautiful, wonderful architectures that uh, this newer generation is trying to come in and just destroy. Um, just symbols in general. Um, the devil will just try to come in and corrupt symbols themselves. He'll try to make them evil. Um, he'll try to corrupt images and make these images into evil images. There are so many things out there that the devil loves to jump in and just manipulate, and he'll do it very fast. It's, a, it's this ego manipulation and try to make something come off in a certain light and twist it. He'll try to manipulate it and twist it and turn it bad. He wants to corrupt all the good things in our lives. And when we start to pay attention to this, we realize that it's going on a lot, guys. Um, don't let it happen. Uh, Jesus said, love your enemies. Now, with all of this said, the closer you get to God, the closer you, the more you meditate, the more you allow the Holy Spirit to come in and show you things, your discernment will increase. Um, you be able to pick out certain things in others, um, but also, of course, in yourself. And that should be the main focus, I believe, is to go what's inside. Try to fix what's in you first. And as it says in the Bible, um, when you uh, remove the log in your own eye, then you'll have that perception to be able to pick out the speck in your brother's eye. Um, that's a very, very good verse because uh, what a lot of people are doing is they're going around trying to pick out the, the logs in other people's eyes and not seeing the one in their own eye. So um, that's, a, that's a really good one just to meditate on just for, just for spiritual awareness. That's a really good verse. Um, I, when you tap into what's going on internally with yourself and you work on yourself, it gives you so much room to really see things clearly. And it, it just it gives you a feeling of peace too. It gives room for God to come in as well. Um, there's a lot of uh, manipulation going on in these times 
where we don't even see it. There's a lot of just sleight of hand stuff going on with the media where they're trying to take something good and turn it bad and also take something bad and turn it good. Uh, here's the other message that was coming in this morning. It's early in the morning. It's like four o'clock right now, guys. Uh, the other message is that you may have certain people in your life who mean good, but they have spiritual interferences going on with them, whether these are demons or just whether they've opened the doors to interference from the devil. And these are good people, but because they have these things going on, they may come across bad to you. They may uh, give you negative impressions of themselves. They may say the wrong things. They may do the wrong things. Uh, they may come across in the wrong way, right? When their intention, their heart is actually maybe good. Uh, and so we need to be aware of these things because uh, as it says in scripture, uh, even love your enemies. But further from that, love your friends, right? Love our friends too, because our friends uh, make mistakes, right? Our enemies may not even be the ones we think. Uh, they may have good intentions too, but it may be the devil's coming in and corrupting their message. It may even be corrupting what they're saying when in actuality, they really want good for you. Um, so regardless, regardless though, if you love your enemies, no matter what they're doing out there and realize that each human you come into contact has a chance to uh, to save themselves for salvation while they're here on this planet, then uh, you know that through loving them, you won't, first off, you won't corrupt yourself because you're not break, breaking the flow of love as you love them. Uh, but number two, you're opening that door for them to come to the light. Um, now, with all of that said, sometimes you do have to set boundaries. If a person is kind of incalcitrant or they're just really uh, acting in a way where they're just not open to the light, sometimes you do have to set boundaries for this person. So um, I will say that can be true as well. So make sure that you are not just rolling over at the same time, but love will protect you. As it says in scripture, love covers a whole host of sins. And I think there's different words used, but it's that, that sentiment that love will, will cover a whole host of sins. So when you love that person, um, you are blocking uh, yourself from sinning in essence. Uh, when you love that person, your vibration keeps flowing. Um, you're actually protecting yourself in the Lord because the Lord can work through that love. Uh, the Lord wants to be in you. He wants to be loving others through you. And you're not vulnerable when you're in love, right? It's vulnerable. We're only vulnerable when we are in pride right and i mean the negative vulnerability i'm not saying about just being vulnerable with yourself but the negative vulnerability is is almost always when we're in pride right it's the pride that we're trying to kind of cover up things or we're trying to become something we're not or we're trying to appear a certain way but when we're in love we're just kind of flowing with the lord right we're not we're not vulnerable in the sense that we are in any kind of danger or fear because we're just flowing with the lord the lord's working with us right he's using us as his vessel to communicate so this is actually a great source of power uh, when i've been in situations and to the outsider they may look like uh, fearful situations. This could be in um, psychiatric or it could be in martial arts, right? Sometimes, you know, when I'm getting in there, we're doing full contact fighting to the outsider. 
that may look like a bunch of chaos, but when you're centered in the Lord and when you're centered in love, um, you're much less vulnerable because the Lord literally does put a protective shield over you. Um, now, this is not self-love, right? There's this, there's this whole kind of movement out there with, with self-love, right? Well, we're not, this isn't about self-love, okay? Um, it's about love of others, right? Self-love is, is loving yourself. It's very confined type of love. That's, that's something different. Um, it's loving others. It's, it's um, seeing them as a child of God or a potential child of God. Um, but it's also non-judgment. So you can't, the Buddha said, you know, you can't love and judge someone at the same time. Um, love is something that has no judgment with it. Now, with that said, you can have discernment with love, right? So that's different. Discernment means you see them, you can see them in all their bullshit and still love them, right? That's, that's, that's true. Um, it's true love. When you can see somebody in their flaws, you can even see if the, if the Holy Spirit gives you discernment, you may even see um, spiritual interferences with them. You may see that going on and then still love them too um, because you're seeing the person beyond that, right? You're not, you're not fixating on the evil that may be interfering with them. You're seeing the person who's, who wants to be free from that, right? So you're still loving them beyond uh, their negativity. Um, so, and, and I think, you know, we, and I, I consider myself, uh, more of a disciple from Christ. I think Christian, and I consider myself a Christian too, but I think the word Christian has drawn a kind of a negativity to it because, um, some have become uh, super judgmental, right? So that, that carries a whole, um, thing with it now um, but but as a disciple of Christ right Christ had many disciples right Christ had many disciples he had a few apostles but he had many disciples so um, I consider myself a disciple of Christ because um, he holds the truth right he is he is the message he is God incarnate he is the one we can discover uh, a lot of things going on spiritually through just talking about God, talking about Christ. Um, we can discover about ourselves just from talking about Christ, talking about God. Um, there are those out there who will have resistance to Christ, right? And there's and what I've discovered is this: is that there are people who have resistance to Christ in two manners. They either are just humanly resistant to it, where they just haven't opened up to it. Maybe it's something new. Maybe it's just they haven't allowed that in. That's kind of the human resistance, where it's just something new. They're not sure about it, right? It could be any subject. I could talk to you about um, physics or or something that that's just not, maybe that person doesn't know about, and they're just like, I don't know about that, right? You're talking in a language that doesn't make sense to me. So there's that kind of resistance, but then there's spiritual resistance. Spiritual resistance is uh, from the dark side, okay? That's, that's from the dark side. So we can, we can identify that resistance too through talking about Christ. So the Lord gives us this, this insight, and it says this in the uh, New Testament, uh, the way to test for... Um, whether a spirit is good or bad, and I don't recall the exact scripture, but it's talking about testing spirits, is through asking, have they, do they accept uh, Jesus as the Son of God? So, so we have these weapons of discernment at our disposal. We can use them. Now, with that said, that doesn't mean we need to get fearful about it. That doesn't need, mean uh, that we need to 
uh, shy away from a person who has resistances either uh, because we know that the power of Christ is much more powerful a hundred times a million times more powerful than the devil so even if that comes up there's still no need to resist it so we can still love that person um, also there's great love uh, or great strength rather in love so um, when we maintain that flow then we maintain that strength uh, God is so wonderful y'all God is so magnificent the Holy Spirit holds true wisdom um, the Holy Spirit is there to guide us in our walk uh, we can uh, receive the Holy Spirit's guidance um, from being still and asking for it from listening to the Holy Spirit so it's, it's just so wonderful y'all it's so wonderful God is so magnificent um, if you yourself have not picked up this wonderful book This wonderful book here is called the Holy Bible. Um, I encourage you to do so. Um, I love this book, y'all. Um, the Holy Bible is is wonderful. Uh, it um, it's the most magical book in the world. Um, if you're out there and you're interested in, in magic, uh, it is truly the most magical book in the world. Um, I've been listening and tuning in to some of these uh, biographies of some of the past saints in the early, uh, like early, early Christian days and also like in the medieval era. And these saints were literally doing like real magic, not not through themselves, but from their from their faith in Christ. They were uh, just just doing crazy stuff. Um, look up St. Anthony, uh, look up St. Benedict, uh, there, I mean, the true power comes from God, right? The fake stuff comes from the other stuff. It comes from human will and, and the devil. Um, they may be able to amaze you with stuff here and there, but it's, it's not real power, true power, true magic comes from the Lord. The Lord is awesome. The Lord is awesome. So that's the message here today, y'all. Um, uh, just to reiterate, love your enemies because the devil will try to corrupt our minds. It'll try to corrupt our perception of them. They may be good people with good intentions, by the way. And the devil can get in and try to corrupt you. And this happens usually when you're alone. I've noticed um, or if you're in contact with another person who this person may be uh, negative right they may have a negative pattern they may try to corrupt your relationship with that other person so this usually happens when we're away from that person we may have a great experience and then um, the devil will interject something right did they really mean this remember in Genesis uh, how the serpent whispers in Eve's ear about um, did he really say that right so the devil tries to work in that way where he tries to manipulate a message um, don't let the devil do that um, try to see it as it was as it really happened and use all reason all discernment give people the benefit of the doubt um, with all that said use your discernment ask for the Holy Spirit's guidance to show you the truth and even with all that even if you see corruption still connect with love um, love again can be discerning even in love okay y'all so that's my message today again it was a big spiritual download just came to me and um, it just just a big feeling of peace and just kind of contentment this morning um, I feel so grateful to have our Lord to show us these things. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful time wherever you're at. Um, feel free to comment on this video if you find resonance with this. And, um, and feel free to also share your experience if you've had similar uh, spiritual downloads lately. Love to hear from you. Thank you for tuning in.